Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. So uh, just got our, uh, home from work and this was uh, waiting for me. Uh, ordered this a few days ago um, and it's something to help with my terrain building. So let's have a look. Uh, it's got some uh, some bump about my next order. Um, got my receipt, and here we have the item in question. Incidentally, I hope the um, sound of my 3D printer in the background isn't too off-putting. Uh, I normally wait until uh, the printers have stopped, so it's a little bit quieter. But um, the way things go at the moment. Um, I'm not going to find a gap um, in between printing stuff. So, um, whilst the one nearest to where I sit is currently turned off, um, the other two in the background are still working. Anyway, so this is what I got. It's uh, a Pro Grass box. It's um, uh, an applicator box for uh, making static grass. Now, oh, before I open it up, uh, this was my previous uh, weapon of choice. So uh, it's a little handheld sort of Heath Robinson affair that I've got on eBay made out of a tea strainer uh, with an electrical circuit and you put the static glass in here and dribble it on to uh, the glue to make your grass tufts. Um, so that was about 13 quid or something like that. Um, and it's fine, it has its limitations though. So uh, I thought I would uh, give one of these a go. These are... Um, a little bit more expensive, um, 39.95 I think. So uh, in the box we get the uh, the unit. We get um, a tub of glue, I guess that is. We get a couple of uh, samples of uh, some static grass. And what else have we got? So I've got some instructions. Oh, we've got some, um, basically some greaseproof paper um, to uh, put the glue dot dots on. And we've got some instructions. So this unit has come from uh, World War World Scenics. Um, available for different prices, from sort of thirty nine to. 55 I've seen them on eBay this week um, so I went with uh, this one for 39.95 and um, ordered it on the 16th it's now the 18th so a uh, pretty good delivery there um, what's this uh, warranty card okay and this is uh, the unit itself so plastic box Lift up and pull out. Do not remove. So we've got a, a metal, uh, I guess that's aluminium plate on the back. And we turn the power on once we've put batteries in. And we connect the crocodile clip to the base of the item uh, that we're putting the glue on, uh, the static grass on. Sprinkle the static glass on here, hold the, the model or the sheet above and the static glass should fly up uh, onto, the, onto the glue. So that's the, uh, the theory. Lift up and pull out, okay there we go. So it's, uh, oh, it's a 9 volt battery. So I'm going to have to go and see if I can find one of those before I can use it. Um, and that's it. So I'll um, see if I can grab a moment to uh, show you it in action and uh, see how it works. So I put my glue dots on uh, on the paper. I've got my uh, static grass on the box, and um, let's see what happens when we turn it on. Wow. So, um, let's 
certainly went on to uh, the paper, but it's gone then. Um, in quite a few other directions as well. Um, let's, uh, let's try that again. So here we are, just a slightly different angle. And uh, I've got my four glue dots there. So... Well, it's a lot quicker than using the tea strainer. And at first glance, uh, they look quite good compared to the, uh, the tea strainer. Uh, that would have taken maybe, I don't know, 20-30 seconds and uh, two or three uh, passes with the tea strainer. Um, that did it all in one in just a few seconds. So, um, the, the only uh, issue is that um, the grass has gone on everywhere else as well. So it's, uh, it's all over the floor there. And um, of course it's all over here. And uh, on my hand. So it looks like it's probably quite messy. But um, anyway, for a first uh, attempt, uh, I'm quite pleased with that. So this time I've got uh, a uh, little German soldier. Just for demo purposes, um, as this one's not painted, obviously it's just undercoated. So let's uh, see how uh, this works. So let's uh, see what the coverage is like on that. Well, it's certainly I've gone on to the glue. It's also gone all over the back of my hand. Um, this is uh, the demo bag that they've given me is uh, is quite short, so um, I think it's only two or three millimeters. Um, so I'll try it with uh, some longer. some longer grass and see what happens. Now the other uh, um, sample bag they give is I've uh, got longer flock so this looks like it's about uh, four millimetres so let's uh, see how that works. Whoop. So that's a bit longer. What I what I tend to do uh, is to use um, two or three different lengths in the same clump. So I'll use uh, longer stuff than uh, the shorter stuff as well, just to fill it all out. But um, let's see that compared to that one. Um, so initial thoughts, very quick. Uh, but a lot more messy. I mean, uh, look at the, the stuff all over, and it's it's all over the um, the whiteboard that I use as a background. So it looks like it's going to be quicker, um, but I'm going to take a little bit more time in cleaning up afterwards. Um, so that's my initial uh, look at the Prograss box from WWS. Um, if I get a moment, I'll perhaps um, try some more experiments with it and let you see. Thanks for watching.
So, we'll grab some static grass. So they do tend to clump up when they're um, in the packet. So I'm just trying to sort of separate the little clumps. So there we go. Now, turn that on. Um, Let's uh, see if. Oh! Where did it all go? 